From planning to packing and everything in between, including money and energy, traveling with children can be intimidating and it can be exhausting, leading some families to shy away from taking those memory-making trips, but it is possible. Allison Bogle with Austin Family joins us now with some advice on how to make it happen and maybe sneaking in some lessons along the way. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Likewise. Uh, all of Every, every parent can probably relate to, to this article. You know, for us, most importantly, uh, finding the money and finding the time is, is, is what can um, prevent a lot of families from traveling. But you've got ways with little or no budget. But before we talk about that, let's talk a little bit about how children benefit from travel, how they can learn. Yes, you're right. It is so intimidating to think about traveling with kids. But there are so many benefits that it's really worth trying to make the effort. And number one on the list, you say sense of adventure. Yeah, so learning to try new things starts young. And when your child gets comfortable putting himself out there from a young age, that zest for life is more likely to carry on into adulthood. And what about uh, acquiring new skills? Yeah, so travel is just ripe with new skills from how to behave in a hotel. That's one of my favorites. Or boarding a bus, boarding a plane. How do you order from a menu? How do you pack your bag and don't just bring toys and instead of clothes? There are so many skills that our kids can learn that will benefit them in life. Especially how do you pack? I mean, yes. make sure you bring the toothbrush along with you. It's I, I speak from personal experience. Exactly. Yeah, yes. I, I, yeah it's all happened there. Um, confidence. Yeah, so kids really gain confidence when they feel a sense of mastery or accomplishment over something. And so like we were talking about, travel is full of new skills for them to learn. And so that really gives kids a sense of pride and accomplishment, and that just naturally helps them gain more self-confidence. Uh, does it also uh, help them gain flexibility and patience, some of those new skills? Well, yes, travel is, I mean, I'm sure you're like me. You probably have a horror story or two. I think Oof. we all do if you've ever traveled. And so you have to have flexibility and patience. You have to go, go with the flow if you're traveling and kids will naturally be part of that and have to experience that. And then the great thing is as they practice that flexibility and patience, they can then translate it to home life or school or time with friends. Oh, wow, you just gave me flashbacks to horror stories. Yeah. We could talk about those later, goodness. Yes. Um, and they Little change. PTSD. Yeah, and they, yes, and they change as time goes by. Um, other benefits, uh, appreciation for people, better understanding of geography and family bonding. Yeah, so the best way to learn about different ways of living or being is to experience them firsthand. And so travel really gives you a sense of understanding, appreciation and compassion for others. And then better understanding of geography. I would take those geography quizzes, memorize it for the quiz, forget it the next day. But when we immerse our kids with all of their senses in different experiences, then they're really forming those long lasting memories and they could better understand the geography of the US or wherever we may take them. Mm -hmm. And then finally, family bonding. Let's be honest, sometimes it can feel like you are unbonding as a family when you travel with kids. But in the long run, you're making those memories, you're sharing those experiences, and you truly are bonding as a family. Yeah, you'll talk about them uh, at their wedding or, or so on oh, and yeah. so forth. You know, and, and then finally, we can't end this segment without really talking about what may prevent a lot of us from traveling, which is uh, having a budget. It's, it's every dollar counts these days. Right. So if you have little or no budget, you still can reap the benefits of travel. So there are many fun places to go around Austin on a day trip. And the great thing is you can be home in time for bed. And so you don't have to spring for that hotel room. You can also check out many of our great state parks for hiking or fishing. They have pretty reasonable entrance fees. And if you get brave, you can even bring your tent camp out overnight. Or if you really have zero budget for travel, you can travel in your own home. You pick a place to go with your family and you can research it, maybe make a meal from that place, play some music, make a homemade craft. The kids will have a lot of fun, learn a lot, and you'll still be bonding. Well, that is such a good idea. I mean, I can go to Italy in my own exactly. home. I know. I mean, I really love that idea. That is so great. Oh, awesome. Allison, thank you so much. It's always great talking to you. Great to talk to you, too. And you can pick up your copy of Austin Family Magazine on newsstands now. Better yet, check them out online, austinfamily.com.